And good call, Fly. I owe you one. Please, take that flying scumbag's tokens. And mine too, if you want them. I'm feeling generous. Hey, turns out the governor accepted my suggestion to let Bobby yell out of prison on the day of the fight. Hey, this is turning out to be the perfect night. If you decide to go ahead with your new venture, call me fun. Your behavior at last night's game was utterly insulting. Never contact me again or I'll put an end to your pathetic life. If our common acquaintance should ask you about your business endeavors, tell him that boxing is too violent for you. Signed, Frank Cassidy. tracks would be covered the following morning when Cassidy read this note from Farnham. Dear Mr. Cassidy, though I'm grateful for your kind help, last night's game made me realize that boxing is just too violent for a peaceful Texan like myself. I have decided to invest elsewhere. Yours sincerely, Howard M. Farnham II. Damn Texans. As for me, it was the first time in days that I had gone to bed without my day of A real shame. Nothing like a bruised body to help you to sleep like a baby. Maybe I should have given myself a beat. Finally, I need you at the gym now, please. It was like this when I got here. When did you get here? 
I've been calling you for over an hour. Calm down. I'll take care of this. Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Did they take anything? No, although... No, nothing. Never mind. Is this yours? Mm, I think it belongs to the new cleaning lady. Mary just wasn't working out, so she left. Clarice Freeman? Yes. You think she did this? <laughs> 